Desmond Dark here with the Sip of the Wolf 8 on our, this is part 3 or part 4 of our, um, the forest game. This is, uh, part 2 of our diving into caves, though. Continuing on that fun hunt. I was just kind of showing off our base a little more here, our garden, got our house up. But for some reason our berry bushes keep disappearing. I'm not sure if they're supposed to after a certain period of time, though. Yeah, yeah, we don't really pay attention to them a whole lot. Um, but this kind of shows more how open it is. I also showed off the video camera here for some of you might not have seen it. Uh, you combine it with the tape. You can play it. You can kind of find some of these. A little bit of story item. Um, nothing that really gives anything away, though. Even with what I know of the end, that still doesn't give me crap, really. <laughs> uh, this was a fun little armsy attack that spawned in our base here. It's a gray, right? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I think he was just regular. He went down pretty quick. Um, playing with a new feature here that we were able to do since we're both streaming this. Uh, gonna get this from both our point of view here and kind of do this throughout the video in some scenes. Flaming arrows all the way. Best way to take care of any mutant, really. Comes flailing here. And he turns. Takes off at her. She was in her menu and had to jump out there. She managed to get away, though. It was a little scary there for a second, though. Yeah. I wasn't ready for it at all. And I discovered here, when they're on fire still, it doesn't seem to hurt you to skin them. It almost seems to put the fire out as you approach it. It always makes sure to skin your mutants. Always put the armor on, it's the best. Uh, this here, I'm just kind of showing when cave hunting, um, actually at any point in time, the sinkhole, Find the sinkhole. It's a great kind of central landmark to navigate the rest of the map by. I I use it in the mountains. If between those two things and well, the yacht really, I can triangulate my position and relative to those three things. Do not jump in. You will die. Yeah. I was showing a little more how I mark these. Um, when you go to utility from the menu, it will not go to it. It'll jump past it. Um, but I always place these and start changing them to green as we go in, so you don't have to come back. That way we know which ones we've hit. Oh, this is a baby comes through these. Apparently, babies can come flying through those. I think they had to have hit it a few times. Yeah, they were making some noise back there. And there's more than one, apparently. That one's looking right at you. Yeah. I wound up being some more guys behind him. These caves are chock full of guys. I definitely uh, don't recommend coming down here until you're definitely ready. Definitely uh, wrapping a cloth around your weapon is so handy. As you'll see in this video, I always forget to do that. <laughs> oh, there's another one hiding back there. I actually saw them watching the video here. They were like almost in sync as they screamed at you when you pop around. Oh, this was the Virginia. Yeah. So we can both see what's going on. Yeah, I got this from both our point of views here. This got a little little hectic. Just because they come at you so fast with those legs. They run so much like spiders. Yeah, I ran out of flame arrows, so just took it on with the axe. I actually managed to hit her there. I didn't think she hit me. She was too busy rearing up on the fire. I was trying to shoot her with fire arrows. I think I still had some. And then there wound up being more guys here. That's why, like, in these caves here, when we got in here, there always tend to wind up being um, <laughs> more cannibals with the mutants. I still couldn't figure out if this is a red cannibal or if he was just burned. But he did seem to take a lot of hits. Like, I burnt mine now, and he looks a little red, but the one you're fighting still looks bigger. It does. He takes so many more hits. There, he's on me now. Yeah, you can see him here on her screen there. Like, he's so much bigger, and he stands off a little different. He's a little smarter. He looks more like a person than he does a cannibal. Yeah. Naked still. Uh, this is another horde. Yeah, you'll run into these large caves like this, and there'll just be a crap ton of them. 
I'd love to know what I was looking for in my hidden door <laughs> at that point. Yeah. You got interrupted and never got to find out, probably. <laughs> I was looking at the drawings. I don't know. Yeah, we wind up killing these here. I think we still have more come in. And then as we're nosing around here, we wind up getting attacked by more. Because that's another thing in these large rooms. you got to pay attention. Um, I guess fighting some won't always trigger all of them in the room. Part of it is I think they're behind some of that rock there. Right, that's not quite rendering because you can see that light. If you look straight up in front of my screen there, if I move forward here, you'll see the light render in. I don't know if that's what part of it is. They're kind of outside that distance. Maybe they don't actually see us. But yeah, here I get freaked out because I think you're one. And I'm like, oh god, there's another one. I'm like, oh no, there's not. And then, da 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 da, boom! There is another one. He came out from behind you. Yeah, it sure seemed like it. One of those bodies that we were burning, get back up. I don't know. You know, sometimes that does happen. Ones you think that are down aren't actually down when they get back up. I'm pretty sure we piled those guys. But... I'm pretty sure there's about to be another one coming on this here. This yeah. room had lots of sneaky ones. We haven't even left the room. And yep, there he is. Another skinny. You managed to hit him with your hairspray, though. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes the hairspray can be really handy. He died relatively fast. Yeah, he did. He was just a regular skinny. That's something I wanted to show here. Um, if some of you have been keeping up with these, I died. Uh, dying resets your map, we discovered here. I suddenly realized I didn't have any of the cave explored anymore. So, just a note, if you die, your map resets, even though you get your stuff back. Oh, this is the cow man we found. He was fun. That was he, interesting. He managed to get me a couple times here. He got stuck, and I thought I was going to be all right here. And uh, this little here wound up finding the safe place from him. It took me a minute to get there, though. I set him on fire, and that seemed to break him free. Unfortunately. And he plowed me over, and then I couldn't tell which way I was facing. I took <laughs> off the wrong way, and he can't get to her there. I'm in the little hallway that is technically leading out towards the exit of this cave. So yeah, I couldn't get in there, so I shot him. He runs me over again, but that gave me my opening I needed. Part of the issue is if the other players crouch and their name disappears, so I didn't have her name to reorient myself when I got knocked down. But uh, we were able to actually hide in here and take him on pretty easy. So uh, note here, if you're in this cave and you find the, cave, uh, the cow man, just uh, back up a bit in this little narrow hallway here. It looks like he could possibly get in from the top if he manages to make it that far, but... That's why I was crouched. Yeah, I don't know that he can make it that far. We managed to drop him. Always skin them. Mutants are super important to skin. That's my pink armor over here. You can see around the left side of my health bar. I don't know why I'm pointing like you guys can see me. You see I added that. Um, mutant armor adds you the most hit points. Adds you 80. And there was a gray back here I saw when I spotted this cow man. And I was looking for him. And this is where I discovered they can kill the grays when they take off charging. When he was stuck on this wall, he apparently plowed over this gray. Poor guy. Uh, this is just, I wanted to share a little tip, um, I, anybody that plays this game a lot knows, but anybody that might be new, when you get to the top of rope, stop and let your stamina refill, just in case there's something out there. Uh, if you notice, my energy is also refilling, I have the cassette player playing right now as well to refill my energy as I'm waiting. And I actually think I was waiting on you to finish something up and let you come up and get your stamina up as well, so it gave me more time. I think that was a pretty long rope there. It was. That was another reason we waited. I didn't see how I was trying to show you. You see how bright my flashlight's lighting up the screen here? Look at her screen. It's not lighting up anything down there. Apparently, when the first player has a flashlight, it does not help the second player's screen out. You are shining it? But it's in front of you. Oh, You're not looking babies. down on my screen. Yeah, yeah, it was just shining in front of me, not where I was aiming. I love babies, how they just fling themselves at you. Yeah, they're flaming axe. One swipe burnt both those babies. And I tried to run up here and get him before my flame ran out. Oh, more babies. 
Oh, that was the flaming baby. Yep. <laughs> Flying flaming baby. Yep, looks like we're in this the is clear. actually the one that won't die. Um, it continues screaming on her screen here. This whole time. Yeah, it just keeps going. And we can't figure out... Like, it's not doing it on my screen. I think she's crazy at the moment. I had to actually go back and watch this from her point of view. And, like, yeah, it's still screaming on her screen. I thought for sure maybe the fire didn't kill it. Because it's still moving on yeah. my screen. Uh, here in just a second, we'll flip to my screen, and you'll see it's actually still moving on my screen. It's just not making any noise. And I actually oh, go to my. hacking at it, too. And you kicked it when you walked yeah, up. Yeah, I did. Well. Happening your game, Wait, hold on. Do you not see it moving? Like, still wiggling oh, away. Ragdoll. But it's definitely not killing anybody. No. And here on my screen, it's not making any noise. It's just wiggling. It's still still wiggling around and here I actually go to whacking at it with my axe I tried to take its head off because I thought I was gonna prove that it was dead <laughs> um, but as you can see the head doesn't come off but it is dead the weird thing is it doesn't it's not a ragdoll animation it's still doing the baby animation. yeah yeah that's the baby crawling animation but it definitely would have flung itself by this point which I thought that was for a second and I panicked but it wasn't uh, you you did glitch it into the wall though when you walked forward uh, there's more greys in the cave. These are the big greys. To watch me get my butt kicked. Yeah, they cornered her over here. This might be a spot we got. I just saw a baby on the ground. Oh, yeah. More babies flinging themselves at us. I got babies flying. That one guy won't leave me alone. I thought that was the big horde, but it's not. And this also, if I remember correctly, is the room with the climbing axe. I think you're gonna see us grab it after we finish killing these guys. So just to know, when you see this and get in this room, you're with the climbing axe. It can be missable. Ah, <laughs> oh, you finally got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed both of us swung at it a couple times, and I don't know if it just didn't count the hit or what, but it didn't die. It I lost itself it. Around. I lost it a couple, a couple of times. There's a climbing axe over there. That's why I spotted this light, and I was like, "Hey, wait a minute! We're in the we're in the climbing axe cave." It is nice and lit up for you and everything. Climbing axe can be a little weird to use. Um, you have to equip it. It gives you a very terrible view of where you're going. Yeah, and as you see, press X. That latches you on the wall, and then you move up it real funky here. Basically, look for those yellow ropes, and you want to follow those. Whatever direction they're running is the direction you need to go. And when you get to where you need to let go, you just press circle. If I've, you can tell where that is. Yeah, if you're playing multiplayer, uh, it works great if somebody can do this right here. As you see, I use my screen to help guide her and kind of point her in directions. Although she goes the wrong way here. Because <laughs> I, I want to say you told me to go over. Yeah, I think I did. Quote, I just said over. <laughs> Follow the rope, which that rope went over and up that way. <laughs> oh, this was this was a fun one. Look at her screen. Oh, out of the darkness, terrifying. Which was funny because they're all lit up on my screen. There's a whole horde standing back there. Damn that, you and your flashlight. That one just ran out of the darkness at you. It was terrifying. Oh, this is where I broke out my hairspray. I got, there was just like way too many here. Uh, this is also where I found out, though, the whole thing about when they hit you, it makes your weapon hand drop. So as you see, I can't light them on fire when they hit me. So I had to, like, get back away from them till the hairspray came back up, and then I could spray it again and catch them on fire. As you can see, I'm attempting to smack the ones that are trying to get him. I'm failing miserably. That's not I managed to, like, smack one occasionally. There were so was... many. They were jumping all over the place and dodge rolling. And my, uh, that's why I just, I was like, I'm not even dealing with this. I'm breaking out the hairspray. Uh, this is just checking your cave progress. Um, you can kind of see here. I'll tell you a to-do list update. And you can see, like, we've marked off caves there. And when it does that, you know, you've finished exploring a cave. This is a cave we found right by our home. That's our that little village by our home there in the Fertile Lands. We found this cave right next to it. I don't know how we walked past this thing probably a dozen times. I actually thought it was that flag right there. That's what I was looking at. I was like, oh, there's a cave we haven't explored. And I was like, wait a minute, there's, that's, there's a cave right here. 
We run up past this a lot when you're going to like to the north. Yeah. Uh, there was another exit and entrance off this cave right here. This, there's that little village right there. And we'll actually see here. You can see where we're at on the map. Um, she gets a little bit better shot of going back to it. She goes straight back to it, and I actually miss it here. I went off in the wrong direction. She actually finds her way right over the top of it. I got real lucky there. <laughs> I had to find her and work my way over to her. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know. You maybe could get into this one without the rebreather, but I definitely don't recommend doing this stuff without the rebreather. Screen, uh, underwater is like pitch black in caves and you can't see anything. Uh, another attack here. I think this is where we ran into some more babies. This might be the one. There's definitely babies. I yeah, I love them one cartwheeling over the rocks. I think we get a good shot from your screen here, one cartwheeling over me. Flippy baby! <laughs> God, I love watching them flip like that. That was one thing I love. If you get a chance to watch her broadcast, it's up on Twitch as well, but you should see it. There's a... That one there did drown as well. In yeah, that it ankle did. ankle deep water. It did manage to drown. Apparently, if it's deep enough that the baby's submerged, that's deep enough to drown. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, no, you're fine. I was just going to say, check, get a chance to check out her stream. Um, there's definitely some interesting shots sometimes from her point of view on the babies flipping around. Because I always tend to be in the front, so they come flipping at me, and she gets good shots of them. <laughs> ah, this is just more grays in here in this cave. There's one thing, some of these caves, and I think this was a really long one as well. These long ones, my god, there's so much crap in here. You better be prepared to fight. That's, that's all I gotta say. I'm slapping together the bone armor there, just so you can see there. I think this is also... They're giving it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to also show you. You don't have to equip all the same armor. You can equip all different armor, as you see there. I'm wearing different bits. And yeah, this is, I was actually giving her a piece. I found out you can just make it and give it to him. I was having trouble grabbing it because it's kind of floating a little bit. Uh, that and the skulls. There's skulls underneath <laughs> us, and they kept messing with it. This is another armsy we ran into. I love this little bench that's just... Little stool sitting right over there. I knew he was out there and I couldn't see him. I missed, but that helped me see him and he didn't seem to care. We'd actually use this trick a couple of times when we're on up on those ledges and they're yeah. too far down for your lighter or even the flashlight to see very well. Now this one, this this was a whole interesting thing that'll come back up later. Um, so head down this rope here. She managed to shoot it once. She makes a dive for the rope. And the arms, he actually falls off here. And it doesn't kill him. Um, I actually tried to go back down the rope a little to see because it was quiet for a minute. I, I peeked down, couldn't see, and I listened, and it sounded like he died. So I tried to go down the rope, but I, I got about halfway down, and I, I heard him again, so I just come back up. As is, again, sometimes you can manage to catch him sleeping down here, although I can't tell you how many times it does this crap to me here. I managed to get the sneak attack on this one, and that one sleeping over there is like, hey, heard you kill my buddy. Maybe you shined your flashlight on him too You long. know, they don't seem to react to that when they're sleeping, but that one almost seemed like he did. Yeah, he wouldn't hold still. Yeah, either, unless those, he get a crack at him. those big grays, look at that. He didn't even care he was on fire. He doesn't even flail around at first. He's just like, yeah, I don't care. Ah, uh, yeah. I think this is it here. Us coming back in. Yeah, this is us coming back through. As you can see here on the map, we've explored quite a bit of this cave. We were trying to find, it looked like there was a branch. And we're trying to find it. And this is actually, we came back through, and, uh, Fallen Armsy, the one that fell, is apparently back. And when we exited this cave, I asked him, I was like, is that RMZ going to be back up on that ledge, like, right in our face? And he was like, no, it should still probably be where we left it. Yeah. Lies. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea why he was suddenly back up he here, but there he was. He back where he was. 
And honestly, it didn't look like he, we had burned him yet. No? No, it's like it respawned him completely. Let's try to get Either that or when we went through here the first time, because that's that big oval room, we missed him. Maybe we went on the wrong side, like we just managed to avoid him when we went through the first time. If I remember, we both chose different sides. That's true. Uh, this was interesting here. I missed with an arrow. It's actually underneath him on fire, and he keeps running into it. Yeah, it actually kept him pinned up there all the way up until the arrow went out. It was a complete accident, but it Maybe kept setting off. him on fire, so it worked. Oh, if for reason you see me holding off, fire damage only works once. Once they're on fire, setting them on fire again doesn't do anything. It doesn't reset a timer. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. So I'm waiting for the fire to go out so my fire arrow isn't wasted. I almost timed that perfectly if he had survived. This here, I, I'm sorry I couldn't get this lined up. I think some of the video got lost here. None of these, well, I shouldn't say none of them, but almost all of them aren't matching up on our screens. There's totally different ones, ones that aren't there for one of us that are for others. Um, I still kind of put the what I had in here side by side, and hopefully you can see some of it. There's going to be a couple of guys that look like they're up on a cross. They're at, he's none of actually, those are on my screen. He's actually a passenger somewhere in the caves. We found him later. Yeah. Yeah, but did. he doesn't log as a passenger when I find him here. Yeah. But no. some of the others do. And he's not even on mine. There's one right there. That was not on your screen, but was on mine. That one was different looking. It was a mural one on yours, and it was just a guy on This mine. guy. Yeah, those. They're not even on my screen. He, they're both the you same on our screen later. Thing. Yeah, it was just that area that was like that, that got real weird. I know that our arms are here. And apparently they can plow through the rock. Stag, stag, stag. Whatever. Alright, that's more of what I'm pointing out there, where a lot of times they always have a cannibal with them. Uh, this is where I discovered it's apparently several. if they're in a line, arrows go through or something? I, I don't know. When they were in a line, my arrow would set two of them on fire. There's quite a few down here as well. Like, we, we, I think we've got four grays here for sure. Yeah. They keep backing off and then coming back, though. Yeah. I had to keep running back and forth in this little cave area to keep them off of me and get shots lined up. Yeah, there we go. Here so, I am trying to get the high ground. Oh, that one actually lit the arms on fire and knocked him back into the other one, lighting him on fire. I saw that that time. Interesting to know. Though. I think I actually did manage to get a guy out by myself that time. One of them. Or, no, I nope. shot him in the... I, I didn't even shoot him, actually. The arrow's laying right there on the ground. I just got it close enough to light him on fire. With flame arrows, you just gotta be close. Oh, he lit another guy on fire. That's nice to know. Uh, same is true with flares. You shoot them anywhere in the vicinity of something, it's on fire. There I missed but lit the body on fire, which I didn't even know I could do with a flaming arrow. This poor guy on my screen. <laughs> This next shot here, this is an interesting room, and if you find it, uh, good for you, especially on normal mode. Crap ton of money in here, and that passenger right there on top of my screen has the katana. Um, we've wandered around quite a bit and never found the katana, and I still haven't got to try it yet. We, we didn't find any cannibals after we found this, unfortunately. But, uh, definitely interested to try finding it, or try fighting with it. We actually didn't notice it at first. Yeah, no, we didn't. Actually, I think about right here, I was making these flame arrows so I could pick up some of this alcohol, and you were like, hey, there's the katana here. Yep, sticking right out of the guy there on the left. So many watches. Yeah, my god. Watch all the money down here computers, which I already built a, a bomb and an exploding head. And I don't know, I haven't really used them. Maybe we can throw them across the river. Uh, here I quit the katana. Just to let you know, it is not an upgradable weapon. 
can't mix it with anything but poison. It's the only thing you can do with it. Ruins the essence of the katana. You, you can't, can't even just, mix it with cloth to light it on fire. You can't just stick a bunch of glass to it. <laughs> Teeth. You can't ruin a katana like that. Yeah, I guess so. I was a little disappointed about the cloth thing, though. Even if it didn't let it light on fire, like, why can't I have a, like, tapestry hanging on? Like, you know, like, katanas have one. Uh, so this, I mentioned in the last video there, when we went through this, uh, to where the rebreather is. So here's a drawing of that, uh, boarded up wall with the crosses on it, which actually has the rebreather behind it, and in the cave. I just thought that was neat. Would have been more interesting if we found the drawing first, but that's fine. And we found more robot parts here, and I actually managed to get some put together. That's the one I'm missing! You just picked up the head. That's the one I don't have. I thought that was the body. No, you just picked up the head. I watched you. I could looked at it. Or I got the head in the uh, hanging cave. Nope. I just watched you. So you picked that one up. It spawned twice. That was the second time we picked it up. Well, you got the head that time. <laughs> That's the one piece, uh, for whatever reason, no, I got I'm most of it put together, piece. and I already had the head. That's why I have the head in one of our old videos. Uh, that's the piece you just picked up. Yeah, I think it just holds up a piece. It doesn't actually mean it's the one that you have. That frustrates me more. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, there's at least two of these so far that we found. Caves that go out onto a ledge on the sinkhole. Um, one of them actually goes on through and goes somewhere. This one does not. This one actually just goes, it's farther down in the sinkhole because I can actually clearly see the bottom from this one. Still a death jump. Yeah, still a death jump. Although I'm curious about a turtle shell drop from there. I don't think there you can catch enough wall. You don't really have to catch a wall. But you might be low enough to be below that invisible roof that counts as, a, as what kills you. I don't know, if you jumped out far enough you could maybe make it in the water. So this is us exiting in the cave and getting just showing how close this was to our home here. This is why I like turning the flags green. I don't have to change it when I come out, even though we came out on the same one. I just run across. But yeah, you can kind of see how close this actually was to our home. I hate that you have to unequip the rebreather. I don't notice I'm wearing it until I see that big box. Yeah. But there's, there's our fence. Yep. It's right there. Oh, chainsaw here. <laughs> yeah, we found this down there. I must have forgot to cut where I found it. But, uh, yeah, there's how quick chainsaw takes down a tree. I'm curious to try it against the cannibal. I can't wait to hack it up. Hack up a cannibal with it. I wonder if I can chop up their limbs while they're, like, still alive. I was just showing... Uh, something I recommend you do after a big long cave run or anything, we usually do it before we log off. Um, we refill all our crap. <laughs> Try to go out on a hunting trip and get your meat refilled. Apparently I cut it before I showed that. Uh, this was actually me coming back home before we quit. Uh, just another you, little example with the turtle shell here. You were getting food and stuff, you're bringing oh, back yep, fish. Oh, yep, yep, <laughs> bringing back some more. I ran up on this hill and got more. Fun thing about being here, you can just do that to get down here anytime you want. Uh, this is something I just wanted to show a little more. This is actually from her screen. Um, she got a real good shot of this and something I've talked about but we've never really shown. Upgrading a weapon. Um, I actually couldn't do it to mine because mine's fully upgraded. Uh, but she actually had some room to do on hers. And uh, I cut this part out just to kind of show how you mix a sap with, uh, she's using teeth here, it looks like. Um, you can do teeth, alcohol, or feathers. Feathers increase the speed, but I don't entirely recommend them. Um, but that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully we'll have another one coming out soon, and we'll give you some more tips and be diving back into caves. We might be getting close to the end, though, so we might have to roam around and just explore, but... Thanks for tuning in, everybody. You have a great day.